Hello. So let me start off by apologizing for this weird farmer's tan that I acquired. Even though it is winter in Las Vegas and it's cold as hell and the sun's not out, I still happen to get a tan. That's why I hate summer. I tan so easy, it sucks. And if you are a woman of color like me, then you know, then you know how it gets. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to talk about everyone's favorite subject. Dating. I thought it would be good to sum up my dating life for all of you guys. Two words. Hot mess. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through before I came out as trans when I identified as gay. A gay male. My <laughs> let's put it this way. My nickname well, not like a big nickname, but people would call me Spatula in high school. You, you're probably thinking Spatula. How weird, how random. They called me that because I had a habit. Not a habit, that sounds really bad. I would end up hooking up with straight men. And as me being a gay male, people were like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain. Now, before, this didn't make any sense to me. I was only attracted to straight men. I would start talking to a guy and be really into him, and then I'd find out that he's gay, and then I would not be attracted to him anymore. He would be a cool guy and, like, Phys good looking but I couldn't I don't know I just didn't feel the connection anymore and it makes sense now I'm not one for serious relationships I think it's because inside I knew that I didn't want to be in a gay relationship not that there's anything wrong with that I cause I identify as straight so, me only being attracted to straight men and all that kind of stuff, it made it really hard for me to find a connection with someone that I really liked. I'm going to bring up this boy that I had an infatuation with, and if he ever sees this, I'd probably die. Everyone pretty much knew. Um, he was straight, and I was gay back then, and I literally, like... Not I went crazy. Like every time we got we were really good friends. Every time we ended up drinking, I'd cry and like tell him how I felt, and he'd be like, "It's not you." If he was like, "If you yourself were a girl, then maybe." But <laughs> honestly, I wasn't back then. Well, to him, anyways. And that's pretty much how my whole dating life in high school went. Which, the sound of it is not great. It wasn't fun. Um, and I was really insecure back in high school and I was always craving that validation. I think I, inside I wanted to feel like a woman, like a girl. So I would end up getting with straight guys and everyone would be talking about it and I'd be so annoyed but deep down I liked it I'll be honest I liked it I back then I wanted that attention I wanted that oh look at my boy name is Joey I have no problem telling you oh Joey gets all these straight guys and Oh my god, and literally everybody would be talking about it. I hated it, but loved it at the same time. And now that I'm older and I see, it makes me sad. Like, I wish I could talk to my younger self and be like, you don't need that validation. You don't need to hook up with straight guys to feel that way. And that it would get better. And... 
it'd be me now. Like, I'm so happy, and I wish I could just tell my younger self that. I wish I could show pictures to my younger self and explain to her that your life's about to be so much more amazing. And if you thought you were having fun back then, you're having so much more fun now. Okay, now I'm going to talk about my dating life now. Well, a couple seconds ago, it might have sounded like, it's so amazing, blah, blah. I am happier. Let me just say, I am a billion times happier. But it's not where I would want it to be. <laughs> um, a lot of trans women have this problem, and I have this problem. Um, when people meet me like this, a guy will be really interested in me, like we'll dance, we'll talk, um, and then I'll have to disclose that I'm transgendered. And as most of you guys know, that doesn't always go great. I've personally been blessed to where I haven't had anything violent or guys get really angry at me, thank God. Um, but it still hurts, like, getting that rejection, well, oh, well, if you are a girl, then I totally talk to you, I totally date you. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I, I don't get it personally. If you like the female me, why can't you be with the female me? I get everybody's different, but... Uh, one of the experiences that like really sticks out in my mind is this guy that I was talking to. I was really into him. He was really into me. He would pick me up. We'd go to dinner. He was just he was really good looking. Really, really good looking. And one day he calls me. Calls me. Not face to face calls me and is like I can't see you anymore and I was like oh we're not even dating haha <laughs> just thinking that he's playing around and he's like no because I know my family would never accept you and I want to have kids someday like I I'm someone that besides that instance in high school I don't cry over guys. I, I can handle rejection pretty well. Not the best, but I still handle it pretty, pretty well. But that just like crushed me like, and it clicked in my head. I'm never going to have, be able to have kids myself. I'm never going to be able to provide my man kids. And if you know me in real life, I don't like kids. Even though I work with kids, I don't really like them. <laughs> I, I like kids, but I have low patience. And I, I, never, I never thought, oh, I want to have kids one day, or I didn't click in my head. But once he said that, it devastated me. Like, I'll never be able to. I'll never be able to provide that for him. Or any guy that I meet. And I'm not going to say that I'm over it. Because I'm not. I'm still trying to work through it. But it, it's getting better. But I guess it's just something that's part of the reality of being a trans woman. Other than, other than that, dating, like, watch a billion other videos about this. It's hard to find a guy that likes you for you and isn't fetishizing about you, isn't like, finds it so sexy and blah, 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 blah. Me personally, like, I want to feel like a woman when I'm with you. I'm, I, I want a boyfriend. I don't want someone who... I don't want a, I don't know how to say this, like, friends with benefit. I don't, I don't think that's the right word, but I don't, yeah, I don't want someone that only wants me for sex. Like, 
I like to have fun. <laughs> but I, that's not what I want. Like, I'm older now. I'm not going to say I'm old because I'm only 20. Turning 21 in April. Um, I'm only 20. And I don't know. I just want more. I've had my fun back then. I want to find someone, you know? And or another thing is, like, I'll end up dating someone. They treat me amazing. I love them so much. I don't love them. But I'm, like, into them really a lot. And they're, like, perfect. And all of a sudden, it changes. And I know that's not just with trans, but it's with everyone. It changes. And that's a big deal for me. If I get in a relationship with someone and then I tell people, <laughs> ding, like, you know that I like that person. It didn't work out. You know when you want to slash your ex's tires? One of those instances. I'm just kidding. I'm not that crazy. Anyways. Another thing I wanted to talk about is online dating. Like, I've never been a real big fan of online dating just because you never know who's on the other side. You never know. And you see people, those profile pics are like, oh, they're so buff. They're like good looking. Their light is hitting their faces. And then you see them in person, complete 180. Like, uh, you know how annoying that is? It's scary. That sounds like, I can't even imagine. Well, um,. Sorry, I'm getting comfortable. Um, but I have tried online dating. And it's great to meet guys. Like, um, I guess as friends, I would never date anybody like that because I don't know their history. Of course, you get to know people like that, but I just, it's not for me. But if you feel that you could that's maybe something you want to do by all means do it go if you feel like you need to then do it if you feel if you have that feeling that maybe you could meet someone maybe I'm wrong maybe you meet your soulmate there who am I to say that you can't I just for me I just don't think it's right for me I know I said this before but I feel like this is important in dating too put your happiness first don't try to change yourself for a guy. Don't try to do things that you, that's going to make you uncomfortable. Things that you don't want. Like, with me, like, if, say I'm in a relationship. And, uh, I don't want to say this without being gross. That guy wants me to be really masculine and you know <laughs> but that's not who I am why would I try to change for that like if you're like wanting to be in a relationship with this person you shouldn't have to change you shouldn't have to be uncomfortable you know what I mean not to say you should have an open mind and try things every once in a while but don't be uncomfortable like if it really bothers you, don't do it. And don't stay in a relationship that's someone's going to make you do it. It's not worth it. You can there's someone out there. And I know that like it sometimes it seems that you'll never find someone or people will see you as a certain way. What other people have to say about you is none of your business. And you'll find that person that adores you and loves all your flaws. And just the perfect person for you. So don't settle. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Don't settle. Uh, so I think this video is getting kind of long. And probably didn't even make sense. And I was probably messing up a lot. And repeating words like I always do. But yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> uh, please like and subscribe to me. And uh, check out my Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. 
I'm always on them, posting pictures, stuff like that. And yeah. Oh, uh, please give me, write me comments, like write to me about topics that you would like for me to talk about or just questions. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.